summertime has to be my favorite season of the year because it's the closest season to my actual like home country nigeria so whenever it's summer i just naturally a lot happier and if you guys can relate let me know what's up guys and welcome back to my channel my name is priscilla i'm a nigerian women's wear designer based in the uk i'm actually excited for no reason today you can tell i'm wearing color my hair is down makeup is done and in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i made my first swimsuit this is done in collaboration with edge water avenue yeah us based retailer for modern swimsuit designs i'm going to be sharing you guys how i put together my first one piece swimsuit so the way it works is the patterns are sold in pdf format and you can print them at home using your normal sort of a4 printer and you're able to cut out your size they go from extra small to extra large and just put everything together and voila you have your pattern done it saves you time of creating your pattern from scratch and because it comes in different sizes you are sort of like sure to find a size that works for you they have several sort of designs and the price points are really affordable so i'm going to be leaving a link down below for anyone interested to check them out and make sure to watch up until the end because it was a real learning curve for me it was like solving a puzzle putting together the patterns cutting out the swimwear and i didn't even get all of the materials that i needed to sew my my own swimsuit but it turned out really really nice let me show you guys so this is what mine turned out like you can see there are just a little bit of bulges here and there but the overall design is really really cute i put some breast pads not the one with the foam but one with plastic padding inside because i have quite full boobs and i like my swimsuit to have a bit of support it does straight across the back you can change up your straps you can make it alternate you can put like an adjustable thing there for both sides so you're able to make it tighter or looser and why i really picked this design is because it's something i could wear with shorts with a skirt on holiday until i get to the beach and just just strip run around in my swimsuit and have a good time so if you enjoyed this video guys make sure to give it a thumbs up comment all of your thoughts and ideas down below so let's jump straight into the video To create the swimsuit, I'm going to be working with the following materials. The first fabric I'm using here is this teal colored jersey. So it has a little bit of texture on one side and it's smooth on the inside and it's super stretchy. I got one meter of this fabric. I also have a lighter weight, softer jersey material that is not exactly teal but could work with my main material. I have a meter of that as well. I also have a pair of breast cups and these ones don't have any padding inside just a little bit of plastic that gives it a shape and definition i have some matching thread my different types of scissors my pins and as well as my tape measure to take down measurements my chalk to add my seam allowance as well as my pattern master so now that we have all of our materials sorted i'm going to go ahead and print out my swimsuit patterns so i ended up printing about 17 pages of a4 because of how the patterns were divided in halves after printing everything out together then you can go ahead read the instructions and then join it up to create your swimsuit pattern okay so i think i have figured out uh, the puzzle and the way the patterns are supposed to be assembled so you see it goes from one two three and then to four down here and the way they are printed is half of, say that, take this four piece for example, half of that part of the knicker is on one side of the A4 sheet. So when you cut them out and stick them together, you have that whole pattern piece for that side. And the same goes for this landscape um, pieces here. So this four and that four, so that's half and half. And when you cut out your measurement, being medium, large or extra small or so on, you stick them together up on the sides that have the corresponding letters O and O. So you know these two sides are meant to go together. And you see this one here, it has H here and H there. So you're meant to stick these two together up this vertical side here to make that part of the pattern piece. So 
I think I figured it out. I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the my size. I'm going to work with a medium. I could fit in a small, but these days I, I swear my comfort is very key. So I would work with a medium, and if I feel it's too big, I would um, take in whatever extra material there is. But wish me luck. Oh, this is actually very exciting. <laughs> I, didn't, I never imagined I'd be so excited uh, figuring out digital patterns, but this is actually really, really cool. I'm just going in now to cut out my size in medium, cutting along the medium line around the different parts of the patterns. So it goes all the way from one to four and depending on the number that the panel has and the letters as well or the alphabets, then you know that they sort of belong in the same group or the same category. So I'm just cutting out carefully around all of the curved ends because we would need to put everything together to make the swimsuit pattern so I have cut out all of the different panels and I've just joined them together according to the numbering and the letters so one and two they are going to become the sort of the top half of the front I think these bottom protruding points is the tie detail three is the front of the swimsuit I believe four is the back because four is a little bit higher and I'm just going to go ahead and stick all of the pieces together so I have my panels ready to cut. The only thing missing that was mentioned in the instructions is I need to cut two straps that are going to connect the shoulders of the front to this um, back of the this number four piece here. So that I will cut straight onto the fabric because they're just going to be long rectangles that measure about one inch by 15. So I'll just keep you guys updated, but progress so far. Oh God, I can't wait to see what this is going to turn out like. <gasps> Ooh, Portugal, here we come. I have gone ahead and taped together all of my corresponding panels. We have three, which is for the front. We have the one and the two, which is for the front top half that you tie together to make the knot. And then you have four, which is for the back. The four is longer because the four has to sort of cover your, your bum and connect to the front along the bottom edge. So now that we have all of our patterns sorted out and cut and ready to go, we can actually pin this onto fabric add our seam allowance ready to cut. So depending on you, you can decide to add one centimeter, half an inch or a whole inch. I decided to work with one centimeter because I just know that is what I'm used to and it will be easy to conceal on the inside of the garment. So I went ahead to add my one centimeter seam allowance all the way around my patterns using chalk because the pattern doesn't come with seam allowance included. And because it's stretchy, I just double checked, especially the waist and the bust measurement that it actually would correlate with my body and it would be comfortable on. So I'm just going in here to cut out along the seam allowance line, which is a pink chalk line. I'm only cutting one of each pattern like so because I'm going to go ahead and cut um, the lining using the same pattern. So these are all of my pieces. I have my front top one and two. I have my back and I also went ahead to cut my lining pieces using the same pattern ensuring to add seam allowance as well. I have my front main material and lining. I also have these two straps that are measuring 15 inches long and 2 inches wide because this is what is going to become the strap that connects your front shoulder to your back neckline. I also have my front one and my front two which you would tie up together to make that front knot detail. The first step in terms of sewing is to join together all of our front pieces together. I'm going to join the top to the bottom pieces of our front along that edge here. So this one joins together on this edge like so and I'm just putting pins to hold it in place and the width of how much you join it is about 1.5 inches. It's not that much. This would just be a way that you connect the top to the bottom and then you have a side seam to connect your front to your backs. So I'm just sewing on a one centimeter seam allowance using my normal straight stitch 
storage at regular t- tension i went ahead to switch to my overlocker later on because i just thought that was a lot quicker and saved me time now i am pinning my swimsuit back to my front along the side seam since we've connected our front panels together to make one whole front i'm just going to go in and pin together my back lining to my front lining along the side seams as well i'm going to be joining up the sides of the main swimsuit as well as the lining along that side seam so now i've switched off to my overlocker and it was just it was a lot quicker to sew with this thing i swear and because my overlocker trims and sews in one go it was a dream you know honestly so i'm just going to go ahead and sew up my side seams don't forget to take out your pins else you're going to break your machine that's something that i just need to mention just remove any pins or don't even take the pins to your machines at all so now that we've joined all of our sides together this is our lining on the left and our main piece on the right we're going to join them together along sort of the bottom leg edge so i'm going to take my lining piece piece like this and I'm going to push it through the main swimsuit so what you should have is you should have the the neat or the clean side showing or facing you and then the raw edges together so the wrong side of your main swimsuit with the wrong side of your lining and then I'm going to put a pin that holds together that side seam edge so once you put that pin there you can go ahead and turn this inside out so you are seeing the wrong side of your garment this might be a little bit tricky but having that pin there just helps you know what you actually need to put together but if you are sort of confident and comfortable that you don't need the pin you can just go ahead and turn this inside out and then just reveal the front and back leg openings and then pin them together along the side because what you want to have is you know that sort of v shape that goes from the front all the way to the back you want to have a nice clean seam there you don't want any raw edge that is what we're going to be sewing at this point now so i'm just going to put a pin on this bottom edge for the front and for the back so they don't move around while i'm sewing and i'm going to take this in my machine and i'm going to be sewing the lining to the main swimsuit along that our v seam or v line that goes from the front to the side all the way to the back so i'm going to be sewing on my overlocker as per usual because it's a lot quicker and um it just saves me time honestly just ensure that you leave that bottom edge open because that's how you're going to turn this thing inside out so now i'm joining both layers on the wrong side of the garment and i'm just going to do this for the left and for the right hand side after i did this and i turned it inside out i realized there was an extra thing i should have added along this seam to keep the lining tucked in it's sort of like a strip of material or thread that is about one centimeter wider you sew along the seam allowance that sort of holds the lining inside and keeps that edge of the swimsuit nice and neat but i didn't have that so i'm just going to go ahead and move on to the next step which is joining the front neckline and the bottom together like so so i'm going to start off with this particular edge here which is the edge that is the top of that your front knicker and or the bottom of the cutout detail on the front so what i like to do is i pin it on the right side i turn it inside out and i just wiggle it in such a way that i can see clearly for myself and for you guys watching this video and then i remove that pin and put it together in such a way that we have right sides together and wrong sides together so i'm just going to pull out some of the lining so i can clearly see what i'm supposed to be sewing and then i'm going to pin together the side edges of that our cutout detail i'm going to also pin together the bottom of the strap that becomes our tie knot i'm going to do this for the left and for the right hand side because with one continuous stitch i'm going to be sewing from one side through to the middle to the other side so i have that bottom of the strap and also the top of the front knicker or pants nicely covered up and 
clean so i'm just going to take this to my overlocker i'm going to be sewing this up ensuring that i trim off that one centimeter seam allowance because that is just going to add extra measurement that i don't want so i'm just going to take this all the way and we're going to be removing our pins as we sew or don't take this pins at all if you don't want to break your machine and i'm just joining with one stitch all the way from one end joining my lining to my main garment and when i reach the corner of that cutout detail ensure you catch both both layers because if you don't you're going to have a hole showing on the right side of your garment and that wouldn't be very cute so this is what the swimsuit looks like it's coming together really nicely and i'm just going to go ahead and work on the next step which is to close off that top neckline so we're going to join our lining to the main swimsuit and i'm just pinning together on the right side like so flip it over and we're going to be joining this together with one continuous stitch next up i'm going to attach my bus cups this is totally optional i just wanted a bit of support in this swimsuit because i have quite full boobs and i have marked three inches from the side seam along the bottom of the front strap i just thought this was sort of like a good point to attach the cups from because we haven't closed off the top of our front so that gives us room to turn the swimsuit inside out so i'm just pinning in the first cup here like like so the, the first edge is right at that three inch edge and the second edge is more towards the middle of the garment so we're going to be stitching just at the edges like that not the whole bottom strap just at the edges to ensure that the cup stays put inside so i'm going to sew the bust cups on the bottom of the front strap seam allowance and then i'm going to go ahead and close off the top of those straps so I'm just doing this around the edge like so up the top just ensure you don't sew up your bust cups and this is what it should look like all the bus the both of the bust cups have been stitched in place and then you can go ahead and work on the shoulder straps so I have cut out my two shoulder straps like these uh, I'm going to pin them right sides together and we're going to be joining the open end so we can make a channel so I'm just sewing it up together like so putting right sides together using my overlocker and once I arrive at the end I'm going to turn this inside out so I do this in a very very simple way I get a sort of tough ribbon I put a safety pin at one end I pass the ribbon through through this our skinny channel uh, from one end to the other end until the ribbon emerges at the other end and when I get there I just pull out a bit of the ribbon and then I stitch it to this end of the channel so once this is stitched up in place it will help me to turn this tube or this channel inside out so now that that is held up in place all i need to do is just pull the channel like this and because we've sewed the ribbon to one end it just ensures that the tube turns inside out so i'm just going to trim off the excess ribbon that we don't need and repeat this for the other shoulder strap if you have the tools to make your straps adjustable this is the point that you would use them but because i don't have that and we're just going to have like a straight shoulder strap you can make yours a bit shorter or measure yourself just to see how much you'll be needing so next up i'm going to be joining my shoulder straps to my shoulder and i'm just marking four inches from both sides along the back neckline and this point we're going to be unpicking so we can pass the straps through them and then we can sort of sew them up in that seam there so i'm just unpicking using my scissors opening both holes ready for the straps to pass through and i'm going to take the first strap and pass it through that bottom open edge through the first hole of the front shoulder strap like so pull it out and you can put a pin there just to hold it in place and then you pass the other edge through the corresponding side along the back neckline so because i knew the strap was going to be too long for me i just pulled out the straps out by one inch on both the back and the front and that just reduced the length overall and still i found the straps to 
still be a bit too loose for me so this is something i might make changes to later on in the future so next up once you've sewed up your straps in place you can go ahead and sew up this bottom edge for the main material alone just remember to leave the lining ends open because that's how you're going to turn this entire piece inside out so i'm going to take this to my machine and i'm going to be sewing up there's a front bottom edges together from one side to the other leaving our lining open i'm also going to be sewing up my shoulder straps just trimming off any extra i don't want along the back neckline and along the front shoulder ends as well <laughs> Once that is done, I'm just going to go ahead and turn everything inside out through that opening for the bottom of the lining that we didn't sew up and just take your time doing this so you don't snag any seam or break any edges, passing the breast cups through one each at a time and pulling out the edge for the front straps which are going to tie together to make the front tie detail. So this is what the swimsuit looks like. The last thing you just need to do aside sort of rearranging and adjusting everything is you need to hand sew the lining close using needle and thread. So this just ensure that everything looks nice and tidy on the inside and give your swimsuit a nice press just to relax all of the seams, all of the edges. And I think the only thing I wish I had done was to use that extra bit of stiff cord that you sew along the seam allowance to tuck your lining inside and have your main swimsuit on the outside. Aside from that, I think this turned out really, really nicely. My husband loved it on me and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on. So this is the finished product. It's actually really comfortable and it's something that I see myself wearing with shorts or like a maxi skirt while I'm on holiday. And then when I get to the beach, just have a fun time. But if you guys enjoyed watching this video, let me know down below. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.